Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Scene Ward, a former Coronation Street actor, has said that his past anti-vax beliefs drove him out of control many times. The 35-year-old, who played Callum Logan in the ITV soap, was vocal about his opposition to the COVID-19 vaccine and attended multiple protests. Seen was arrested during an anti-vaccination rally in Canary Wharf, London, in September 2021 and was led away by police. However, he has been unable to find job for the past three years, leaving him unable to pay his rent. In one of his most recent Instagram posts, the Our Girl star shared his experience with a photo of himself on a red carpet during the height of his career. I know truly how lonely and isolated this can be after attempting suicide in 2018 after realizing the cruelty on this earth and no one caring, he wrote. I decided to use whatever's asterisk asterisk t little platform I'd built through my acting career to at least try sieving through the propaganda together, thereby sabotaging my own reasonably successful career. To go from earning 120k a year to sleeping on a friend's mattress is actually unfathomable to most people. I'm still constructing a life to be proud of, he added, but in my opinion, there wasn't much of a choice, but rather a moral imperative. And of course, there's always more than one way to make a living for the resourceful, and I've built myself back up several times in the last three years when all hope seemed lost, so it doesn't feel like I've thrown away anything. I haven't gone into that dreadful path in months, he said. So I'm proud of myself and everyone else who feels the same way. You will never be alone. We've all demonstrated that we care. That is what keeps me going. Thank you very much, Sini X. Scene was thought to be paid roughly £100,000 per year when he was on Coronation Street between 2014 and 2015. He later appeared in the BBC series Our Girl starring Michelle Keegan. The actor was nominated for the British Soap Award for Villain of the Year and the British Soap Award for Best Newbie for his work in Cory. Victoria Ekinoy of Coronation Street revealed up about her cancer battle. In October 2021, the actress who played Angie Appleton in the ITV soap was diagnosed with DCIS, ductal carcinoma in situ. DCIS causes the cells within the milk ducts to become malignant, and Victoria earlier stated that the lump on her breast was so large that she didn't have to look for it. Victoria was finally given an official diagnosis after a third opinion from the specialists. Victoria, who was appearing on this year's Real Full Monty, claimed on Tuesday's Loosed Women that she was motivated to raise awareness and encouraged women to conduct frequent checks. I wanted to know. She stated to panelists Colleen Nolan, Ruth Langsford, Janet Street Porter, and Linda Robson. Take a bit more control over my therapy and the process and choose whether I needed to be on this medicine because it was more of a belt and braces approach to making sure we caught everything. She also claimed that her newborn son Theo saved her life when she discovered a malignant lump while breastfeeding him as a baby. I honestly believe this, I think having Theo saved my life, she added. I might not have noticed if I hadn't been breastfeeding him because it brought the lump to the surface. It came to the point where you could practically see it. Victoria has recently been confirmed as the newest prominent face to join ITV's The Real Full Monty. The show, hosted by Diversity's Ashley Banjo, focuses on celebrities who have all had cancer experiences. The famous faces then work together on a choreographed routine with the purpose of stripping off exactly at the conclusion, just like the film, after discussing how it affected their lives or those closest to them. Victoria has personal experience with the disease after being diagnosed with breast cancer in October 2021, according to a source close to the actress. When she was asked, she jumped at the chance to be a part of the real full Monty. She wants to do everything she can to encourage men and women to check themselves, and the show's entire premise is to get people talking. Macmillan can provide support and information if you or someone you care about has been diagnosed with cancer. For further information, call their helpline at 808-800 and 80000 to 7 days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., utilize their web chat service, or visit their website. In Monday's November 11 episode of Coronation Street, Evelyn Plummer, Maureen Lippman, was held captive by a wicked thug. 
Evelyn recently encountered Terry, a man who was abusing his dog. Evelyn, being a dog lover, wasn't long in confronting Terry about his bad behavior. Evelyn saw Terry outside the charity shop later in the week. He was being cruel to his innocent pup once more, but Evelyn intervened by grabbing the dog from Terry's van and bringing her home. Evelyn was well aware of the hazards involved in caring for Terry's puppy, but she felt it was the proper thing to do. Evelyn became concerned after encountering the wicked man at the precinct when she saw Cassie, Claire Sweeney, walking Taylor Swift, the dog named by Hope and Ruby, around the block. She immediately ushered them both inside, unconscious that Terry had noticed them. Later, when Evelyn started working at Dev's, Jimmy Harkishin's, shop, she was alone with Terry, who entered and locked the door. The enraged man demanded his dog back from Evelyn, even covering her mouth so Dev and Gary, Mikey North, couldn't hear her yelling. Evelyn eventually broke free and unlocked the door, but Terry had already fled when Gary and Dev arrived. Evelyn sought to compose herself in the cafe after chatting with Craig, Colson Smith, where she was encouraged by Roy. Do you want to be the first to learn about Bombshell Stender's spoilers? Who will be leaving Coronation Street? What's the newest Emmerdale rumor? Metro.co.org is now on WhatsApp, delivering all the latest information and current stories directly to your phone, ensuring that you never miss a storyline again. Join the Metro Soap's WhatsApp community for spoiler photos, must-see videos, and exclusive interviews. Simply click on this link, then choose Join Chat, and you're in. Remember to enable notifications so you can see when we've just posted the most recent spoilers. Roy offered to walk Evelyn back to Ty's, Alan Halsall, just as she stood up. In true Evelyn flair, she made a remark about Roy caring over her, but when he turned his back, we observed a look on her face that suggested she was appreciative for Roy's offer and frightened crossing the cobblestones alone. When Evelyn arrived to meet Tyrone, he warned her that reporting Terry to the police would be a mistake since it would just exacerbate his behavior. Evelyn hoped Ty was correct when he stated they wouldn't hear from Terry again. Is this, however, the conclusion of the story? Metro.co.uk is now on WhatsApp, delivering all the latest information and current stories directly to your phone, ensuring that you never miss a storyline again. Join the Metro Soap's WhatsApp community for spoiler photos, must-see videos, and exclusive interviews. Simply click on this link, then choose Join Chat and you're in. Remember to enable notifications so you can see when we've just posted the most recent spoilers. Roy offered to walk Evelyn back to Ty's, Alan Halsall, just as she stood up. In true Evelyn flair, she made a remark about Roy caring over her, but when he turned his back, we observed a look on her face that suggested she was appreciative for Roy's offer and frightened crossing the cobblestones alone. When Evelyn arrived to meet Tyrone, he warned her that reporting Terry to the police would be a mistake since it would just exacerbate his behavior. Evelyn hoped Ty was correct when he stated they wouldn't hear from Terry again. Is this, however, the conclusion of the story? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.